Spurs boss Ange Postacoglu had a massive job when he took over at the club because A, the club wasn't looking too good after Antonio Conte and B, he had to replace Harry Kane. Now they've done a massive job to replace Harry Kane in multiple different ways. So we're going to dive into that in this video and I hope you enjoy. First up, we got to work out exactly what Harry Kane did. He did a hell of a lot of stuff. He wasn't just an out and out number nine. He was a very mobile player and that started with his playmaking work. His playmaking work was absolutely impeccable. He'd drop in as either a false nine or a ten and just lay the ball off to whoever the hell needed it at the time. It tended to be Hyung Min Son, and it worked absolutely spectacularly for the club. In addition to his playmaking, he had a massive part in the finishing. After all, he scored 20-plus goals every single season for a long time. He's one of the best centre-forwards in the world at the moment. Not the easiest to replace. And he brought leadership as the club captain. We're going to delve into how Ange Postecoglou has gone about replacing every single one of those attributes and built Spurs into a better club as a result. First of all, looking at the playmaking work, we've got to talk about James Madison. 40 million quid is looking like the bargain of the summer, especially when Moises Caicedo has gone for 115 million pounds. Three James Madisons for someone that isn't quite as good. And I'm going to have a very, very quick look at the numbers surrounding the way that James Madison has been playing because they are, frankly, obscene. Um, I've got all of Spurs' data up. It's FBref is a fantastic tool for all of this. And I'm just going to take a very, very, very quick look at shot creating actions for you. So if I scroll down, shot creating actions. James Madison has created 25 shots in 3.790s at the club. Every 90 minutes, he creates nearly seven shots for the club. And that is an obscene amount. It's an entire shot better than second place in Son Hyung Min. And he's just such a creative player at number 10. It makes me confused that Southgate plays him on the left wing, but Gareth Southgate is going to do Gareth Southgate things. Just ignore it. Aside from James Madison, we also have the wingers chipping in quite a lot. You can see Son Hyung Min here who has provided 21 shots this season so far, with Kulosevsky narrowly behind at 14. The wingers chipping in is a fundamental part of Postacoglu's system. He likes to play quite wide. He loves his sort of overlapping fullbacks and players that are able to sort of make a mess and cause overloads that drag the defence around a little bit. And I think having Son Hyung min and Kulosevsky on form is a fundamental part of that. You can also see Mana Solomon, who's created eight shots in not even a full match. These players are going to be a significant part of Tottenham succeeding this season. And it's not just that, it's the midfield too. Take, for example, I'm going to find a specific example. Papi Matasar hasn't even played three full matches yet, but has made so many opportunities for the club. He's a fundamental part of moving the ball very, very quickly and creating opportunities from basically nothing. Compared to the way that Conte liked his midfield, which was just a nice staunch, stoic line that basically stopped the opponents from counter-attacking, but didn't really give much going forwards, you can see why Hoybier is being moved on. Papa Matasar and I have completely lost Pesuma, Pesuma um, have made fantastic opportunities for the club already this season, and it's something that is just going to keep on going. In addition to chance creation, I discussed finishing earlier as well. And... Weirdly, I don't think Spurs are missing Harry Kane at the moment. Now, in this system, Harry Kane would be able to sit as more of a straight-up number nine. That's completely understandable because he's got more stuff being created from behind. But the shooting isn't too bad under this system either. Son Heung Min has three goals. James Madison has two. The shot and target ratios are absolutely incredible coming from where Harry Kane used to be. I've always sort of preferred Son as more of a number nine anyway. I know he liked to drift in off the left, but his elite movement is game-breaking in some matches. And I think keeping him on the inside with someone like Mana Solomon playing on the left will be obscenely good for the club later this season. That's the way that the front line has been contributing. Admittedly, Richarlison hasn't so much. I feel like Spurs sort of still need a number nine if they're not going to play Brennan Johnson there. But there's also contributions coming from behind. As I mentioned, Papi Matassar is immense this season so far. He's really proving why the club bought him. Christian Romero has chipped in with two goals already. It's no longer a question of Harry Kane is doing all the goal scoring. It's a question of everyone needs to chip in. 
it's that money ball thing of improving things in the aggregate rather than with a single player. And I think they've reinvested quite well throughout the summer. And finally, leadership. Harry Kane was the club's captain. He's the England captain. He brings a big amount of leadership to the dressing room, especially when you were dealing with Antonio Conte, who was in there, who seemed to actively hate the squad. Kane was, it seemed at least, the one linchpin holding everything together in a nice, sane structure. And weirdly, I think that has been replaced with Ange Postacoglu himself. Throughout all of his time in the past, he has been someone that has staunchly stood by his squads and been incredibly aggressive in interviews when people have gotten hostile. And I feel like he's going to bring a sort of, not mob mentality, but he'll bring a sort of us against the world to Spurs that I think they've sort of needed for a little bit, but in a more positive manner. I think Postacoglu is making a massive difference, both tactically and mentally, and I think Spurs are in a much better position as a result. So how have Spurs place, replaced Harry Kane? Everywhere, basically. They've invested really intelligently. Their best signing of the summer has been Posta Coglu, in my opinion, although James Madison has made a big difference. And losing Kane has meant there's been a bit of a restructure that's meant everyone else around him has been able to shine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below what you think and subscribe. I will see you later.